Hello, thank you for joining us uh, for the message from Bridging Gospel Hall. I want to read one verse with you from Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. And it says this, that without faith it is impossible to please him, that is, please God. For they who come to God must believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 11 is a great chapter of faith. And this verse is telling us about the importance of faith. Without faith it is impossible to please God. Faith is absolutely essential in coming to God, believing that he is, that is believing that he exists, and believing that he can bless us. Uh, so you might say, well, what do you mean by faith? What is faith? Do all people have faith? Well, faith simply is trust, belief, dependence, reliance. And this faith is faith in God, of course. This is saving faith, faith that produces salvation. Without faith, it is impossible to please God for they who come to God must believe that he is, that he exists, and that he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. I wonder if you're a seeker after God today, because the Bible says that seek your Lord while he might be found, and call upon him while he is near. So this verse then is about faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. God. We've tried to emphasize the essential nature of faith, and we've tried simply to explain what faith is. Faith is dependence upon God. Let's think of an example of faith. In this chapter, there are plenty of examples of faith, and I want to choose one from verse 31. Verse 31 says, By faith, Rehab the harlot perish not with them that believe not, when she received the spies with peace. So Rahab exemplifies what faith does. She perished not with them that believe not. People who don't believe in God, people who refuse God's Son to be their Saviour, will perish. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him would not perish but have everlasting life. So Rahab accepted what she knew about God, and that wasn't really very much, but she did know that God was a powerful God, that God was a God who delivered his people Israel from the bondage of uh, Egypt. She realized that this was the God of creation. This was a God who was all-powerful, and this was the God that she wanted. And so she trusted that God. Well, we know a lot more about God now. We know that God loves us. We know that God loves us so much that he sent his son into the world to die for us and die for our sin and went to the cross to pay the price for our sin. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried. He was raised again according to the scriptures. This is the gospel and we. this is what we need to believe. So, Without faith, it's impossible to please God, for those who come to God must believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. What are the rewards of faith? Well, the rewards of faith are simply this. Forgiveness of sins, eternal life, sanctification, justification, justified before a holy God. And these Blessings are eternal blessings. These blessings will be with you forever. You will become a child of God if you receive the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be born into his family. You'll be saved for time and for eternity. I wonder, my dear friend, if you have faith. Perhaps you've got faith in people. There are some people that you trust. Some people you believe in because they have proved themselves. Well, God always keeps his promise. God has proved himself to be a God who is reliable, a God who is trustworthy. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. That is the kind of faith 
that saves, my dear friend. And so we present to you the Lord Jesus Christ and his power to save. And we must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and we will be saved. May you do so. Thank you for listening.